With as much as I love the Jack Russell Terrier, the dog breed in general, I'm not gonna lie and say there is not some things that drive me insane at times about this dog. Let me preface that a little bit with clearly I own the dog, so I am not advocating towards not adopting. I am just making a video today about all of the things that at some point drove me insane about the Jack Russell Terrier. Again, I love this dog breed. There are some things that are just kind of annoying at times, and let's kick it off with my number one, which is something we have talked about so many times in all of my videos. This dog just won't ever leave you alone. Most of the time this is awesome. I'm not really complaining about it at this point after three years of raising her, but man in the beginning did it get to me a little bit. It was just like, man, give me a minute to breathe. This dog follows you everywhere you go. They have to be connected to you at all times. There is nothing you can do about it, which might be the annoying thing. It's almost as if that control is taken away from you, but that is one of my top annoying annoyances about the Jack Russell Terrier. Number two, and I'm not used to this, and this probably would not bother anybody else that owns this dog. I have Graham as well, and he is the fastest eater on the planet. So if we have things to do, or we're going for a walk, or going for exercise, or we just need to leave for the evening to go out to dinner, typically, you know, a lot of the times when you have plans, you'll feed your dogs and you'll let them outside. Graham is so fast with these things. He eats in two seconds. Healthy? Probably not. Luna, on the other hand, is the slowest, pickiest eater I have ever seen with a dog. With her dog food, she has certain pieces that she eats last. She basically organizes the pieces of kibble inside of dry dog food to eat it in the order she wants. It takes her forever to do anything when it comes to eating. So you extend that on top of needing the potty break after she eats and it is just it's a roller coaster of time. She's just slow. It's like waiting for somebody to get ready to go out to do something. Number three was another thing I was not ready for at all and it's because I owned Graham and I had owned only big dogs in the past. This dog has a very small bladder but she drinks water like she is the size of a yellow lab or a Rottweiler. As they get older this isn't that big of a deal as I'm sure you can imagine. It's really not because they're potty trained. They know how to whine at a door to go outside or hit the bells hanging from the door or however whatever method you use to train them they've learned. However in the beginning if you're not ready for this or you've owned bigger dogs that can hold it for a little bit longer. That is not this dog. She is at her peak of size, so to speak. And she's got a tiny bladder. So when she drinks water, like she's a hundred pound dog, she needs to go outside way more frequently. They don't really have that control or, you know, the size of that bladder to hold it. So that can be a little bit annoying by itself. I also want to preface a few things that I'm talking about aren't always terrible. Some of them are awesome traits, just like the next one I'm going to talk about. But that doesn't mean that they don't have an annoying side. It's like some of these, it's a little bit of a catch, right? It's what gives them their personality and makes them an awesome dog. But at the same time, none of us can sit here and act like it can't be annoying or frustrating at times, which leads me into this one specifically, which this dog is fearless. Awesome trait makes them just an awesome dog. They're just not scared of anything. But at the same time, that can be a little bit annoying because they are showing off that toughness with everything they see. When you go on a walk, they're not scared of the big dogs that are walking by them. They're not really scared of anything. The things that they're the most scared of are the things that are just ridiculous. Like Luna, is scared of vehicles driving by, but a gigantic Great Dane can walk by her and she acts like she has the body weight advantage. Awesome trait that they have that kind of mentality and they're just that tough of a dog, yes. But it has some ways of creeping up and being kind of annoying. You don't want a dog that's always shown that they're the toughest kid on the block. Just one of those things I kind of wanted to throw on the list because pretty cool, but kind of annoying. My next one, guys, is this one does actually annoy me. I think it is awesome that this dog is so responsive to commands and training and how smart they are, but her need for permission to do anything, sometimes when I'm in a hurry or I just forget that she needs that, it drives me insane. Like her potty still, three years later, you let her outside and she immediately goes outside, comes back to the glass door and just stares at me. I then have to reopen the door and like point to the yard and say, go potty. It's like she won't do anything without that final command. She won't go into her kennel if we're going to go leave. She won't really do anything that requires like a action like that until she gets like the final green light that it's okay from mommy or daddy or whoever's the, you know, main person in the house that they, res <laughs> that they respond to. Again, it's awesome that they're that, you know, responsive and loyal, but it, it's kind of annoying that you have to reemphasize something 500 times to this dog. My next one, I don't know how any of you could argue with me about unless you just really need the best guard dog on the planet, but their barking and their vocalness, if that's the word, 
How often they want to be vocal is extremely annoying at times. If anybody comes onto our property, she's barking through the window. If it, if there's dogs three fences down because we just have like a chain fence that she can see through, she is having a barking battle forever. Her voice never leaves, the vocalness never leaves. She is just gonna keep barking until they stop looking at her or until they're not there. Like that is, she's letting them know that, hey, I'm here until you're gone. And it can be annoying. It is awesome to have a guard dog and to have somebody protecting the house. Do I need her to just shut up every now and then? Absolutely. Another one that I would consider an awesome trait and super annoying at times, depending on what kind of mood you're in, is their cuddle behaviors. If this dog is out and about with you and you just want to relax, you can relax, right? Don't get me wrong. It's not like you can't enjoy relaxing with a dog on your lap, but there is no other option with Luna. Like she, if we're watching a movie, she's like on my, trying to sit on my chest, climbing up to my shoulders, near my face. She is all over it. There is no, what annoys me about it isn't the fact that she does it. I love that about her. I think it makes her an effect dog. What annoys me is, again, I, I don't have the control to take that away. It's there to stay. There is no option B. So for some, it, you, you would call it clingy, right? It's a little bit too much. You want that dog that wants to cuddle you most days when you're just relaxing, but at times, maybe you want them to just be able to lay at your feet or lay on the ground next to the couch. Not Luna. If she's there, she is basically in your business and in your face, which can go both directions. Awesome and annoying. My next one, guys, is actually might be the number one one ranked most annoying thing about this dog. It's part of their intelligence, but it's their escaping abilities. Man, when I first got her, her ability to get out of the yard, if you're getting ready to adopt a Jack Russell, you better be ready for this because it is coming. Their ability to find or burrow or dig and get out of a yard under a fence through tight little spots, it's incredible, especially if they pick up a scent of something that they're chasing around, rabbit, squirrel, something like that, but it is so annoying. Yeah, there, I, tried do, I tried doing certain things to keep her locked up in the back backyard and most of the times I failed so never had a problem getting her back or anything like that it could be a little dangerous if they get out but it's their ability to just get around to everything you plan can be severely annoying at times but it also goes to show how smart they really are my next one is actually super annoying as well I don't really think there is a, a flip side of this unless you're you get entertained for it right it helps the YouTube channel for sure but their chase like Graham will chase things right if he sees something in the yard he's gonna chase it but he like kind of slows down and gives up. I don't know if it's an age thing or he just doesn't care. Not Luna, like everything she has to chase. It doesn't matter if it's a bird, a squirrel, a rabbit, and I get it. It's part of their personality. It's what makes them the Jack Russell Terrier. So I'm not saying that it's a terrible trait. I am just saying that the fact that you can't go on a walk, if you see a squirrel, even once they're trained, like they are gonna pull, they wanna go after it. And they aren't really satisfied until they've taken care of what's on their property or what they have set in their sights. So if you're not really prepared for a dog that just has that pure prey drive and instincts to do that, it can be a little bit annoying. My next one, guys, is also pretty annoying, but it's also a loyalty trait, again, with this dog, and something that it really annoys even my wife is Luna is responsive to nobody in this house except for me. She's not disrespectful, so to speak. She just doesn't really listen. So if you need her to, you know, go outside and go potty, she wants that direction from me. She's not hearing it from anybody else in the house or anybody, for that matter. When a Jack Russell, in my opinion, when they take to the person that they are following or whoever they pick as the main caretaker or leader for them they really lock in on that and they need that and whenever it's not them it can be a little bit annoying because it almost makes you feel like the other people in the house like just don't have the ability to get any control of the dog this really kind of calmed down a little bit as luna got older it's not as bad in the beginning it was way worse but i would sum this up as just not very responsive to other people except for myself guys now would be an awesome time for you to communicate to me and luna what annoys you about a jack russell i'm primarily looking for people who own a jack russell clearly with this but your comments are huge for this because I just want to see how accurate I am if I'm being too, you know, petty with the things that I'm getting annoyed by or that I put on this list. Again, I want to preface it with I love this dog breed. I clearly own it. It's sitting in my lap, so it doesn't annoy me that much. But everybody that owns a dog doesn't mean that dogs don't have quirks and that they do some annoying things. So Drop those comments down below for us so we know what is annoying about your Jack Russell Terrier. Don't forget that you can check out the community tab by going to the community tab itself or clicking the blue join button to donate Luna 99 cents worth of treats or whatever you feel like doing for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This channel is completely designed to discuss, have fun with, and teach you guys about Luna here, Jack Russell Terriers in general, and just help you guys as much as we can. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Central, we have a new video that gets published, so always be sure to check those out. Give us a thumbs up on the video because it helps us a ton with the YouTube algorithm. It is super important so that we can get seen by others with this dog. Otherwise, guys, we're going to catch you in the next video. We appreciate you and take care.